Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to EU4 as our delightful friends, the Mongols, in our great con playthrough. When we last left off, we made, we let the Ming think that, uh, oh dear god. We made the Ming think that we were just going to do whatever they wanted, and I'm also noticing that, shockingly, Ming seem to be getting random... Separatist rebels a bit more often than I would have imagined here. Which is interesting and also slightly, slightly scary because I don't know why that's happening and thus I don't know how I'd be able to turn that to my advantage. Uh, Xianzu has insulted us, as if I care. They're fat and ugly and nobody loves them. Though, once, uh, once we are done with these rebels, apparently they are now known, uh, we shall go ahead and, uh, yeah, kill them. And, or, once they're dealt with, what's this? Yeah, I'll let another province turn to confusion. And Shagate broke their alliance with me. That is an ominous uh, sign of things to come. All right. If you did that, that clearly means you have plans for me, so I'm gonna... What's this? You want another 15 ducats? I can't even refuse them. And at least they're just asking for money, that's okay. Because I make more than 15 ducats a month. Uh, let's see here. Alright, we've got that. And, let's see here. That's still going on there. Uh, you, 20 months. Oh yeah, how is our, uh... Oh, what the heck, we'll spare no expense. Improve prestige. Let's, uh, let's let this cycle through. 20 months is a little more than a year. That's... Well, ye almost two years, actually. Alright, deaf to spies. That's That works for me. Okay, Xianzu is even bigger than they ever were before, which is scary. They are now going to demand admin points from me every year. Which, uh, that mildly hurts, to be honest with you. But, uh, we will... We will make do. Damn, we're behind. All right, what do we pick as our first idea group? Hmm. An admin is good. Economic is good. Uh, innovative is also good. Uh, we could take one of these. I mean, it, we could make a play for getting to the new world. Uh, if we take uh, exploration ideas. Which I'm not entirely opposed to, to be honest. I mean, we're not behind in tech. And being able to spawn colonization would would make life a tad bit easier for us. So I, I think we'll leave that for now. We'll see if we can actually do it. I don't mind falling a bit behind in Diplotech. Not too much behind, but a little behind is okay. Okay, you're at six. I am told military tech six is when things get really dangerous for fighting the Ming. So, uh, yeah. Oh, what's this? I can purchase an ability. Oh, right, I forgot this was a thing. Nice. All right. Uh, hmm. Well, aggressive expansion's not gonna matter. That doesn't matter too much. Uh, plus one. See, this seems like it would never be useful. Well, not never, but like it's so situational, I would never want to use it myself. Let's go for this. Lowered unrest means that all our rebels should go away once it ticks in. Uh, excuse me. I did pick that. Oh, oh, state edict. Right. That's a new thing, isn't it? So where where do we do state edicts? That's an interesting question. Uh, not here. And what are state edicts exactly? Well, state edicts, once I can find them, because I haven't played with that either as of yet. Not policy. Why did they hide these things? Alright, maybe I'm just missing it. Like, it's gotta be in, like, the actual state screen, you'd figure. Probably should've read that one more. Or maybe it's not available to a horde. That can't be right. That's not in here. Um... Hmm. Come on. Like, don't- why- why is this stuff hidden from me? Oh, boy. Hmm. 
All right, you know what? We'll come back to that later. But we know we can do it now. Though that was apparently a waste of my time here. So I guess I might have, might as well have gone for one of these other things here. Like the war taxes cost, perhaps. Or higher developed colonies. Yes, save up. Should have just saved up for that. Unless there's a cap on how much splendor you can have. All right, well, it's going to take us 10 million years. But if we can, we should have gone with that. Because better developed pro... Or, excuse me, better developed colonies would, in fact, be useful for us. I thought it was just like a flat minus uh, altogether, but apparently I was grossly mistaken. Uh, let's see. Conquer Hulan. Where is Hulan? Alright, that's one of our enemy's provinces. Actually, I'll wait until I can fabricate one more claim here. There we are. That's thinking of the old noodle. Uh, let's say Giran. Jiren. I don't think they can do much to me right now. Alright, we've got this. So, if, uh, if we wait, Jagate has rivaled me. Alright, good for you. I mean, I don't really care, but, you know, good for you. I am glad that uh, you are happy, I suppose. And there we go. Oh, you know what I should do? Here's something that never occurred to me. Oh, well, actually, the tribes love us, so never mind. All right, once uh, we've done this, I'll get rid of that missionary guy. We'll go to full strength, and I don't really care about Yaren Pretender Rebels. Oh, oh, Heishi Separatists are almost at maximum, so we're going to have to do this. Also, we're making more money. Oh, yeah, that's right. You still hate me. I should probably suck up to you. Forget about Ming for now, because we're not even getting any real bonus from being next to them at this particular point in time. They want... Can you imagine, like, how much they must be getting? Like, look at all of these. They have... Like, imagine if they are getting points from all of them. We've got to become Emperor of China at some point. It's going to be glorious. Simply glorious. Also, when do we get cannons again? That's a good question. Cannons, cannons. Not until Tech 7. So with that in mind, maybe two more archers? No. That would be silly. We'll go for two more cavalry. Not that we can afford them. But, uh, we will be able to once, uh, the stuff happens. What's this? Uh, I'll go with this. Just for now. Just until we have nothing better to do with our time. Lose stability or lose morale. I'll go with that because, what is this? Sure, why not? Wait, Tibet exists? Oh, hey, look, it's Tibet. And there's also rebels going over here. Ming is busy in a war of some kind. Good for them. Uh, what about this? Eastern Mongolia. That is this. Does it make sense to state you up? The answer is no. Yeah, basically none of the states around here are going to be worth our time. So everything is going to be... Uh, Actually, that's going to lead to a problem later, because basically, basically all my provinces are going to belong to the the tribes, which is going to hurt a lot. Oh, what's this? We have some Heishi Separatists, which will soften up Jeanzu a little bit. How big is Jeanzu, anyway? Like, I, I'd figure they would have to be bigger than me. I also love these tabs, by the way, that lets you filter people out, especially if you're, like, actually fighting someone. So they have 14 of 21. Okay. You see here, here's where the diabolicalness is, you know, approaching maximum capacity. At some point, we're going to break our alliance with Korea. In fact, since we are a, tr a tributary, I might even want to break it now. We shall see. In fact, I think what I'll do is wait until... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so this, this does nothing, but it's needed for the other ones. I gotcha. Oh, I see. Ooh, that's pretty good. Wait a minute. Wan. That's like the name of the Mongolian dynasty that was in charge a while back. Ha, you lost, you suck. At life, apparently. Of course, I can't be particularly good either because I'm just laughing at them. 
All right, good. Look, there we go. Getting rid of our rebels. That's always good. Ah, you poor, silly people. What just happened? Pretender rebels again? Poor Yaren. All right, what is this? We, we gain stability cost modifier for 10 years. Or we lose yearly army tradition. All right, we'll go with that. And meanwhile, we're almost done here. So that's good. And looking at religion. Well, there goes our grand captain. So that's going to cost us. Yeah, we're not even going to really need our missionary strength guy once this is all over. Will I hire another guy? The answer is no. Not right now. Well, I, I could. I mean, we are behind on Diplo. So you know what? We'll do that. As it was a crazy and silly and stupid thing to do. But my gut told me to do it, so I did it. All right, we've lost uh, Cass's belly against Buratia. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. We're going to have to fight Buratia at some point. All right, there we go. All right, don't need you anymore. Uh, national unrest. Yeah, that's good. And we're making money again. So that is great. <gasps> Mongolian? What is happening with Ming? Like, I keep hearing people saying how this, uh... Oh, because I'm a horde, I don't get prosperity, huh? I see. Interesting. Very interesting. Wait, am I, uh... No, it's, uh... Oh, wait, I do get prosperity. Never mind, I'm an idiot. It's just, uh... Hens. Oh, I see. I see. That's some good stuff. 70% chance each month. Man, it takes forever to get up there, doesn't it? Anyway, the the key thing is that we've got some sweet separatists who... if I mean, it's never going to happen, but... Wait. Wait. Are you l sort of, kind of, maybe losing to Bengal? Who are you at war with? Just Bengal. And what's going on here? Defender against Bengal and the Bengalese conquest of Yarkand. I see. Oh, this is never going to work in my favor, but imagine if the Mongol separatists actually managed to separate. Brings a tear to my eye, those brave 16,000 Mongolians who are probably going to die. All right, let's get this war on the road. Death to the Manchurians! Because, you know, they're not Mongol. Then again, that's never been the Mongol way. We're an accepting bunch, or so I'm told. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let us see. And it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's say... We'll say Jiren, because why not? And then we'll pop off one of these infantry. Actually, we'll pop off a couple of the infantry. Actually, no, we'll kind of break it even here. A little bit. Yeah, you do that, and we'll go up here. And we're probably going to want to crush their army a couple of times first before... Holy shite, I didn't even realize they had these uh, these guys here. Ah, crap, and I timed it poorly because if I had timed it properly, I could have actually got this for free. All right, never mind. Stupid guys getting all the forts. All right, we'll forget about the south for now. We'll come back for this later. Wait, is some of this Korean land? I think it is. Interesting. All right, so while they're busy doing that, wait, steps, woods, steps, where are you going? Hingen? Can I catch you? I cannot catch you. Crap. All right, well, we'll kind of make our way up there anyway, sieging out their land as we go. Beautiful times, beautiful times indeed to be alive. All right, yeah, if I can get them, if I can keep them on the run while I siege out their country, and that will probably, probably be all I need. But just to, how did they sneak around me? See, this is why you pay attention to where you're going in life. Because if you don't, oh god, they're building up the numbers. But they're, the AI actually knows how to go all cav now. That, uh, that does scare me a lot. <laughs> oh wait, they might actually be raising banners. Because they're Manchurian and they can do that. I see. 
All right, you just, uh, yeah, sit there. All right, we're gonna have to play this very strategically. Yeah, 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 Ming. Go do stuff with yourself. We'll cancel our tributary. St Wait, I could cancel my tributary status right now, you're saying? That's probably a bad idea, because I do intend to get some war-related things going here. All right, they're sieging land back, but I'm sieging approximately two provinces, or soon to be three provinces for every one that they take. So, I'm quite confident that we are going to siege them out. So I figure what I'll do is I'll siege out, like, the vast majority of their land, and then I will come back after that, and we will kill them in a grand and glorious fashion. Befitting the true heirs to Genghis Khan's empire. Which is what we are, totally. The true heirs. That's some wood, so I don't really want to fight them in there. Because woods are scary. Alright, plus they have a better leader than me. Stupid AI getting better leaders than me. Even though I know that's not how the game works. Sometimes. Sometimes it feels like the AI gets better roles just because the AI is the AI. Who did the AI rat declare war on? Burasha? Alright, go for it. I mean, uh, do what you want with your life, bro. Alright. Good times, isn't it? This is good. This is the sort of thing that makes me glad to be alive. Because we are killing the enemy, seeing him driven before us, and hearing the lamentations of his women. And there are a few things in life greater than that, according to Genghis Khan, allegedly. Genghis Khan may or may not have actually said that. Who knows? What I do know is that, as you can see here, we are totally crushing and killing and destroying them. This was probably a poor choice. You're gonna die, my friend. Oh, no you're not, actually. But, if I can kinda pin them in, that would help me a little bit. And that would make me a happy man. You know what? No, I am gonna go do that. I'm just gonna think to myself, because this is gonna cause that to get unseaged. But that's okay. That is perfectly fine. Uh, we have a, we actually have a bad ratio here, so we actually need more infantrymen to get down there. Are you an infantryman? No, you're a horse. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. Or something like that. Welcome the immigrants, you say. Ming will be upset if they discover we are harboring criminals. We gain corruption, but lower development cost, lower trade power, and we get... Alright, that's better. Works for me. And if it works for me, it'll work for... Something, something. Alright. Is this steps? It's all mountains from here on out, so this is gonna get... Very, very ugly for me. I suppose I might as well just start sieging out their capital. I can then just let these guys kind of wander around and do whatever they want. Oakley doakley. Alright, you are a horse, so you can keep going. You are going to wander away, possibly. Well, we'll see. We'll see how everything works out. Alright. I mean, we've got a semi-decent thing going. Semi-decent. Actually, yeah, I want to bring the infantrymen back home. So that we can get our ratio of cavalry to infantry higher. Wait, why is it... Where did the vast majority of my infantry go? I had more infantry than this. I had six, didn't I? Well, there's an infantryman. There's a horse. I did something wrong here. Is the general consensus that I am feeling here. But uh, we are burning their nation to the ground slowly but surely, so that's, that's a good feeling. Kinda. Oh, also, you know what's something I forgot to mention? You can actually scorch the earth in a nation that you are currently uh, sieging, or currently fighting, conquering, doing stuff to. Doing beautiful, beautiful warlike things to. We can also go to war, or... Eh, we'll pick that up. Why not? Something about Ming? I saw something there that said something about Ming. But I'm not going to worry about that too much. 
All right, a guy died. New heir to the throne. Bronze cannons. That's... You know what? I'm not going to marry you, Korea, because I'm probably going to break our alliance shortly. Shagate can declare war on us, or we could declare war on them. You're busy wasting your life over there. Which, I mean... Just saying they're wasting their life, that is a... Excuse me. Don't know why I'm burping so much. But, uh... You know, they are... Oh, I want this so badly. But we are behind the times. You know what? We'll pick up this tech and then we'll start going from there. In fact, to speed things up, maybe we'll do this. I also feel like these guys are dropping off like flies at a really suspiciously young age. That could just be me. All right. We'll uh, keep doing stuff there. Wait for it. Where are you going? Are going somewhere. I don't really care where they go. What I do care about is that we hopefully finish this siege before I die of old age. In fact, what am I doing? I don't need all these guys here, and clearly, clearly they're not planning on sticking around that long, so I could just, uh, I can start sieging out another province, basically. Oh god. No. No! Don't do this to me. Uh, go in there. Come on. Siege it. Siege it. You're not going to siege it, are you? Alright, get in there. They're making a move. Uh, AI, why do you do this to me? Why can't you just break the fort like a good little boy? Is this steps? It's mountains again. Come on, we're at 35%. You can totally get that. There we go, about damn time. Alright, if I split this in half, what happens? As far as them, uh, you know, coming back to kill me is concerned. That's a good question. I probably want to take their more valuable land down here, because again, the idea is to make sure that we get as much land as possible. Uh, what is this? New consort. Lower a bunch of our prestige, which we don't really have much of. Get lowered unrest, lower local unrest. Eh, uh, nah. That's not worth it to me. Not today. Where are you going? Mon, huh? Uh, where is that? You know what? I don't care where that is. Oh, you're going over there. Alright. Well, you are entitled to do that. If that is truly what you wish to do with your life. I shall not stop you, sir. But at the same time, I would caution you. If you strike me down now, I shall still rise up stronger than ever. Alright, we're up to 54%. That's good. Alright. Alright. Every time they siege something back, uh, we siege several things back. So, at the end of the day, I think we're doing better than them. Unless they attack us over here, because then we're kind of screwed. <laughs> but, assuming that's not what happens, then we should be okay. So, I am satisfied with that. We'll lose the prestige rather than the points, because the points are useful. Ah, uh, come on. Break the walls, guys. We need those walls to fall down. Tear down this wall. They're not tearing down the wall, are they? Ah, uh, boy. Some days... Some days I wonder, am I truly the con? The answer is yes. Yes, I am. But, even so... I mean, the most beautiful part about this is we're slowly denying Ming tribute. I mean, once we fully annex these people, anyway. And that is a beautiful thing. Alright, now we're ahead of time by a small margin. Yeah, we're probably not going to spawn colon or col colonial blah, 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 clonal words that I apparently can't speak. We're probably not going to spawn colonization. But, that's okay. I mean, we don't have to spawn everything. Though, spawning at least one thing would probably be pretty nice. Someday we're going to have to actually fight Jean Zhu, but that day is apparently not going to be today. And why am I not working on sieging out this? That's a good question. Alright, we have finished another siege. That's always good. And someday, I will be able to kill Jean Zhu's armies. But that day is also not today. This day, we do not fight. This day, we just siege stuff out. Well, then again, we're at 90-some percent. So, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's do this. 
Let's just take back what, uh, or take what we can. Uh, specifically, everything we can touching Korea, so that we can, you know, touch Korea. Let's see here, you'll give me this, and this, and this. Whoop. In fact, I think I want most of this area, assuming it is wealthy land. Alright, this will make sure they can't form the, uh, the people. That's not worth it. Return cores to Yeren. No, because that costs, or costs me Diplo points. So that's not going to happen. And let's see here. I could give this land back to Yaren, because it's their core anyway. It is their core still, right? Yes. So that's probably how I'll play that. Let's see. Yaren, Yaren. Yaren. Alright. Well, we'll take everything we can, which is apparently this. And we'll, uh, we'll raise a couple of provinces, conquer a couple other provinces. Probably get rid of these forts, because these forts are icky and gross and we don't need them. You know what, I'll keep two of the forts, just to be safe. And I will raise the land up here. Because it's not that great anyway. And some of the land down here, probably. Yeah, any land that's already low in development. Because... Well, that's good. I might actually want to keep that. What state are you in? This state. Alright. Yeah, you're probably worth not raising. You I can't raise. You I can, so I will. Alright. In fact, this is all land I just conquered. Oh, it's going to be valuable, though, if I don't burn it, so I... I won't burn it. That's a lesson I'm slowly learning about playing as a whore. Just because you have the power to burn something doesn't mean you should. Alright, so everything over here is going to Yaren, which will lower their hatred of me ever so slightly. Oh dear, and it's also time to wrap this episode up. So I'm going to give this to them off camera, and uh, also while we're talking. And we will come back in next time to continue our conquests and awesome stuff. But until the next time... Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking. I will see all you in the next video.